Alright. Today we're gonna go over a few things you need to put some hurricane protection on your house. First thing you're gonna need are these, if you're putting them in brick, which this house is brick, we can all see that. If you're putting them in brick, you're gonna need these seven inch panel mates. These come from a company called Wind Storm Products. Okay, this is the anchor here. And of course, you're gonna need a special bit to put these in. And this is the bit here. It is a Panamate driver. It is a 3 16 by inch and a half. 3 16 being that. Now, these two, this bit just goes on to the end of it, like so. Then around an impact, like so. And you just drive them in. You're also gonna need a quarter inch drill bit. Don't worry, it's gonna have to be a long one for sure. At least six inches. You don't have to have an SDS bit. The way we're gonna do them to this brick, you'll see. Uh, you don't really wanna go through the brick here. Brick tends to bust and break. These things are supposed to be every 12 inches. Uh, if you'll count the motor joints, one, two, three, four. And go every four motor joints on this house. That works out between, most of the time, between about 10 and a half to 13 inches. And I've never failed an inspection, even in Florida, where they've got the strictest of codes. Not even in Niceville, Florida. And I've installed them from Melbourne, Destin, Santa Rosa, all over Florida, all over the coast, Mobile, Panama, Jacksonville, Florida, all over the place. Um, today, I'm gonna be installing some, well, we've already installed some. If you've got shutters and the homeowners don't wanna take the shutters down, you can see you can just pull this little washer right down to flush with the shutters. start at about the second brick down you can't be over six inches from the corner and that's about five and a half and then at the bottom you don't want to go all the way to the last mortar joint you want to stop at one up because if you go down here and you're using the hurricane fabric the actual panels this guy's not using panels he's going to use half inch plywood which you'll just set up here on this brick ledge push it up to the wall and then take a hammer, bump it a few times with these bumpers off, these stoppers. And then mark it, you lay it back down on the ground, drill it out. Then you can stick it right back over it and you can put the wing nuts over the top of them. All right, we're gonna get busy. We're gonna drill one out and show y'all what that looks like. And we're gonna start right here on this one. All right, so on this house here, there's two studs which come over three inches. So if you'll measure over on this brick, yeah, you can run a level down the sides, usually what I do, but you'll go about an inch and five eighths and make a mark. Now on these ones, we're just gonna mark right through the plastic. We're gonna go there second mortar joint down we're gonna go one two three four we're gonna put one there one two three four we're gonna put one there and i know that i'm at about an inch and five eighths because i've already measured this shutter so one two three four one two three four one two three right there all right let's drill that out you want to take your time drilling through this brick, especially on this one up here. These are the softest, easiest to break bricks on the house on this 
top roll lock up here with these last three bricks that they turn sideways. They'll just break right out of there if you're not careful. So you want to drill kind of slow. I just use this little D-Walk impact. They seems to work pretty good. Been mm -hmm. using impacts on putting these things in for years. Now, a lot of times when you go to drill these in that first time, mortar is built up in that hole. So if you'll back it out, run it back in. Sometimes if it does that, it's easier just to take your drill and drill it back out again. But most of the time they just go right in. got any questions don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll be getting back with you soon